How's it going YouTube? My name is Golly, and you are watching an Origins video tutorial for how to complete the Little Lost Girl Easter Egg Achievement on Black Ops 2. So I'm going to be showing you some of the prerequisites you need to do before you can get started with the steps for this Easter Egg. And uh, before you get started on the Easter Egg, the first step is to craft and upgrade all four elemental staffs. So if you don't know how to do that, I have video tutorials in the description for how to do that, along with links on screen. So go ahead and click one of them if you don't know how to do that. But this is actually feeding the four chests around the map. Now, as you can see, there was one in front of the dig site. There's another one right behind Juggernaut. And then there's one to the left of Stamina, which I'm at right now. Now, you got to feed each of these chests either 30 to 50 zombie souls. And once it collects all the souls, then you can go ahead and uh, collect your reward. So the last one is located in front of the church area. And once you feed this one then you're going to go ahead and get the Thunder Fist, which is the upgraded melee weapon that is on this map. That can actually be upgraded, it, and that is actually one of the steps in this Easter Egg to upgrade it. So that's why I'm showing you it beforehand, so you'll have it to upgrade at the later time in the game. So these chests are really easy to fill earlier in the round, so I suggest doing that first also, if you can. Now, once you get this big-ass token right above my Juggernaut emblem, you can go ahead and find a redemption box and go collect your reward. And look at that. I get an upgraded melee weapon. Now the next step is to add your slab right in there to the holy water. Now you collect these slabs by generator 2 inside of the room where the MP40 and mystery box sometimes is. I'll show you where that is here soon in the video. But once you collect that slab, you're going to come into the church, add it to the holy water by holding X. And then you're going to have to get melee kills in front of it. Now, it really helps if you have the upgraded Thunder Fist, which uh, I just showed you how to get. And you are the one that has to feed your slab. So once you feed your slab, like 40 to 50 zombie souls, then the slab will be clean and you're going to be able to hold X on it to grab it. And then you're going to have to run it all the way across the map. And you got to do this by not stepping on any mud. And the mud is the part of the map that slows you down. And if you step on that, then it'll make the slab dirty again. And then you'll have to go and feed it more zombie kills inside of the holy water so you got to make your way the entire way across the map without stepping in mud now you can do this by following the path ultimate gilly is taking you got to make sure you stay on the wooden pallets and the concrete area of the map if you want your slate to be cleaned so uh it's best if you have one person backing you up while you're doing both of these steps like the step by the holy water there's a window behind that area so you could have one friend watching that. I was actually the friend watching that window while Ultimate Gilly is being a boss here and getting this. Now, you go ahead and add the slab to the table right where you saw Gilly uh, go up to. And then it'll start getting the zombie souls fed to it. And you gotta melee zombies in front of this table again. And then you should go ahead and get that monkey bomb pop up right there. Now, it's, a, it's an upgraded monkey bomb. It's pretty rape. And you use it by hitting the left bumper. So that is actually required for this easter egg because you need that for a later step. Now this next step is to craft the Maxis drone. The first part is located inside of the spawn room each and every time. It's going to be at the exact same place. The next part is located in the excavation site area. It's either on the top floor or downstairs or sometimes right outside of it around it. Now he picked it up right there and it should be right near the gramophone. And uh, the last part is located on the zombie tank trail either going towards or away from the church or sometimes this last part can be located down inside the ice cave so i was Maybe recording this in theater and that's why you don't see the part right there but as you can see he did in fact pick up a part for the maxis drone right there and then you can go ahead and craft the maxis drone anywhere on the map you want um there's a crafting table behind the zombie tank if you don't know where one's at and there you go you got the maxis drone and those are the three things you need to do before you can start the easter egg. Actually the fourth, because you need to get all the ultimate staffs. So now you're ready to go ahead and start the easter egg. The first step is to add the four staffs to the different areas of the map. The fire one goes inside the crafting room for the, uh, the staffs. And then the electric staff has to be put up inside of the robot by spawn. Now his name is actually Thor. And you gotta go up inside his foot and place the staff down right up inside of his head. And it has to be the lightning staff. And each of the other staffs have a specific location they need to go in also. So that's what your next step is going to be. And we're following and we're live. Oh my god. And the next one is Thor. And you're going to need to go up inside Thor, which is 
walking over the no man's land area of the map where Jug this is, and you're going to have to put the wind staff up inside his dome piece. And once you do that, you can go ahead and exit the robot, and then go ahead and go to the final robot, which is located over by Church. And that robot's name is Freya. And you're going to need to go up inside of Freya's head with the ice staff. And uh, there should be a slot there to put the ice staff in. And then once you have all four of the staffs, the upgraded staffs, inside of these four compartments that you're supposed to put them in, then they should all respawn down inside of the chamber where you craft them at. And uh, that's how you know you completed this step. As you can see, my buddy Gilly's walking down, and he gets to pick whatever staff he wants, because they're all there. So there you go, he picked up the ice staff, and all the staffs are respawned for the next step. So the next step is to rain fire. And to do that, you're going to have to have one person go up inside of the robot, and uh, he's going to be able to press a little button, right? And once you press this button, you're going to have to have one person with the upgraded monkey bomb that you saw me get earlier standing right over by stamina up because you have to do this part in unison. So I press the button while Gilly goes ahead and throws this uh, monkey bomb thing, and then it goes ahead and explodes the shit out of that ground and opens up a hole, and you're like, oh my god, wormhole! Is Samantha going to pop out and eat my dick off? No, no, that is not what's going to happen, folks. What's actually going to happen is you're going to have to throw, throw the Maxis drone right there, and then it should go down into the pit. And then this is a pretty challenging part of the Easter egg. If you have the right weaponry, it shouldn't be. But for some of you, it might. I've gone down on this step a few times, so don't feel like a noob. But what this does is once the Maxis drone goes inside, it's going to spawn six big daddy guys at the exact same time and if you have the upgraded staffs they should be a walk in the park to kill if you don't good luck because you're gonna need the upgraded staffs to take all these bad boys out just letting you know that because they can swarm you pretty easy and uh... there are multiple ones of them so you don't want anything bad happening or else shit will just hit the fan real quick for you So the next step is called Skewer the Winged Beast, and to do this you're going to need zombie blood. And the easiest way to get that is by shooting these carts that are on fire. There are three of them around the map, and you have to shoot them with the upgraded ice staff. And once you shoot the third uh, cart that's on fire, then a zombie blood will spawn at the top of the excavation site that you can use for this step. Or you could leave the zombie blood that you get for turning on generator 1. but this is the easiest way because you grab zombie blood and the person that grabs it has to look up in the sky for an airplane with a red glow around it and then shoot it down out of the sky. And then as you can see a zombie fell and the only person that can see this zombie running around the map is the person with zombie blood, okay? And then you gotta go ahead and chase him down and shoot him. Uh, the fire staff is the best way to do it because he's a one hit. And then you'll know if you killed him because he'll drop the Maxis drone. And the easiest way to do this is to have one zombie left and uh run them around somewhere else on the map. Now, here is the second to last step, and you're gonna need the Fist of Iron for this, because, oh, well, this this part is called getting the Fist of Iron, because it's upgrading your Thunder Punch. Now, as you can see, you go down into this chamber, and the zombies will have white mists around them, and all you gotta do to get the white mists off them is melee them, and then the white mist will disappear, and you can kill them. And then, once you kill enough white mists around the zombies, then a white orb should appear like it did for me and you go ahead and pick that up and then you will now have the upgraded melee weapon and you are good to go to the next step now you're going to take that upgraded melee weapon go into the crazy place and you and your teammates are going to camp right in the middle and when you're in the middle it's going to collect the zombie souls and send them up to the top of the crazy place and once you feed it enough zombie souls then you're good. You're good to go. The achievement's unlocked for you, and you'll know because your screen will go white. And it's pretty crazy because this last step can be pretty hectic, but if you have enough perks and the upgraded Thunder Fist, you should be Gucci. You should be good. And there you go, little last girl. Achievement unlocked. Yeah! So, there you have it, guys. If this video helped you, please rate the video. And subscribe to my channel for more epic zombie content. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the final Easter egg cutscene. I know I made a video about it. 
but go ahead and check it out. Um, if you didn't yet, go ahead and check out my two and a half hour gameplay of this Easter egg up on my channel. This game I'm getting all these clips from for this video are actually up in one video in a two and a half hour gameplay live commentary with my two friends. And yeah, go ahead and check that out. It's pretty epic. So once you complete this step, all you got to do is throw Maxis drone up inside the middle of the map and then you can go ahead and open the teleporter up and the staffs are available to go pick up so that's all you got to do and uh, it's like pretty crazy game's over once you uh, hold X on that teleporter guys so if you don't want the game to end you don't have to end it you can just not hit X on that teleporter and keep going as the gates to Agartha opened the four heroes were rewarded with riches beyond imagination from that day forward, they knew that Samantha would keep them safe forever. You're getting everything wrong. I told you before that her eyes should be blue. It's my turn, Eddie. I can do whatever I want. But you don't even know how to play properly. Girls don't know enough about zombies. We'd better do what your dad says. I didn't even get my turn. Tomorrow, Eddie. You get to make the rules. I promise. Come on, Fluffy. I wish the heroes in our stories were real, Sam. I know what you mean. But we will make everything okay. My dad says he has a plan. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed it, rate the video, subscribe, and until next time, guys, peace!